So Kate, I say, Kate, how come you don't want to have a positive attitude? And she goes, because I just don't. I don't buy into it, don't want it, OK? I'm going to do what I want to do. You guys are a bunch of nuts, all happy, <laughs> crazy, fluffy stuff. Woo, law of attraction. I don't buy into this. I'm serious. And I'm crabby, and I like it. So that's Kate. OK, so now what should I do? I ask her why. Wasn't a good answer. What should I do? Call you. Whack her with a wand. <laughs> yes. It's always a man that hits with the wand, right? <laughs> Whack her though. I love it though. That's a thought. We could we could add that. I like that. What would be the first thing? Okay. So we've asked her why. Should we maybe give her a warning? One. Or you still you want to fire her right away, right? <laughs> she's like, she's just can her. She's out of here. Oh, she now. Oh, now she's into the finger thing, the smiling. Okay, so maybe a warning. Then what? Verbal warning. Then what? Then what should we do? Written warning. Then what? Can her. Everybody agree? Okay. So we ask why. First question, right? We find out. Behavior keeps on. Verbal warning from the practice administrator or the doctor, right? Happens continuously on. Kate's still being a pill. Goes on, right? Next thing, written warning. Documented as well. Continues on. And she does not need 90 days to figure out how to get her attitude on. <laughs> well, we'll give you 30 days. We'll give you a 90-day period to bring this around. No, it's instantaneous. It's a choice. And then she's gone. But see then, oh, that's harsh, isn't it? But the, do any of you think that's harsh? No. Because why? She had choices. And she knew, right? But see, how many of you have clear consequences listed? Do you? We do. Good for you. But we've gone through conflict to get but, to that. But you've gone through conflict to get to that. See, the majority of us have never set out the clear expectations up front. See, remember earlier I said expectations cause most of our problems, lack of clear expectations. The reality is, is once you set that up, where you say, OK, and again, I would do it just like this. Your team might not be this big, but set up and have that conversation. What do you think is fair? What's interesting is the people who are usually the biggest perpetrators are the ones going, fire them. Oh, not that I would, not that I would. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't, mean me. Me. <laughs> Didn't mean you, no. But, but when it's not them, see, then they're thinking clearly. But see, when it's them and it becomes an issue, then it's like, oh, you're being so harsh. That's not fair. You don't understand. I needed to hear it about four or five times more. But the reality is, is if we set up clear expectations, see, they know it's a choice. And then it makes it easier for the doctor and the manager to actually follow through with it. Because I will tell you that they lose sleep. They get an upset stomach. They do not like to have to let people go, especially when they're a great performer. Even though if they have a toxic attitude, because they know it's going to impact the practice. But I will tell you, as a leader, as a doctor, as an owner, it is your responsibility to create a safe environment in your practice. It is your responsibility to get rid of the toxic attitudes, regardless of how good of a worker they are. But have clear expectations before you throw everybody out that has a bad attitude. Don't run back on Monday and fire. <laughs> you need to go back and establish what it is that you want them to do. How do you want them to interact? How do you want them to talk to each other? How do you want them to um, know gossip, know this, this, or whatever? Create your standards so they know so they're clear. Otherwise, you set them up for failure. Set them up for success. And then ask them, who's on board? And if you're not on board, I totally get it. But then it's not going to be with this team. Then go and support a team that you can support, because this team is all going to agree to this. 